Hi guys, so today we are back down in the basement. I am going to be recording just a mishmash, as always, of stuff that I have recently listed. Uh, so some of these things are obviously auction winnings. There is going to be stuff from thrift stores and then just things that have been, you know, in my piles to be listed for quite some time. So we're just going to get into uh, what I have to share with you guys. So in one of my last um, haul videos, I had shared that I recently sold a Barrel of Monkeys game super quick. Uh, Eric had won a box full of just some random games at the auction and there were two Barrel of Monkeys games in the box. Well, the one sold like practically as soon as I listed it um, and then I had another one. So I listed this one as well. Um, this one didn't sell yet. So it didn't sell as fast as the last one. I'm not sure why the other one sold so quick, but maybe it was the coloring of the barrel. I have no idea. The last one was a yellow barrel. These ones are a red barrel with red monkeys. So not quite sure, but I did list these at, for a buy it now of $15.99. This is also another random um, auction winning, just something that was on a tray of other stuff we won at the auction. It's a vintage Duncan yo-yo. So it's red and white. And I listed this as a buy it now for $19.99. Some of the older yo-yos can do well. But this bottle of, this is Mark by Avon Bath and Shower Gel in the scent Hollywood Pink. So this came from an auction. Um, this scent came out in 2005. So it's an older fragrance. Um, but it is still new. I listed this as a buy it now for $19.99. This here was in a box full of jewelry that I had won at an auction. It is a bamboo um, scarf holder. So it's in its original packaging. And it's really pretty. I mean, it's got like that boho look to it. And it's supposed to hold your scarf. So I listed that as a buy it now for $9.99. This here is a kind of like mail organizer, like desktop um, storage piece. This is marked Peru 98, so I'm assuming it's vintage. I'm thinking maybe someone like kind of hand painted it type of thing. To me, it gave me like a shabby chic type of vibe to it. It's really pretty. It has different slots where you can put like your bills and stuff. And then there are two drawers that slide out here. So again, this came with other stuff at the auction. It's marked Peru 98. And um, there is just one little issue with it here on the side where it got a little bit, um, banged up but i did list this for a buy it now of 29 dollars 99 i saw one similar to this um that sold for that price also in my last haul um i had hauled a vintage gold label victoria's secret button up uh, night shirt and i said that there was another piece that came with it um, when I purchased it at the thrift store. So I paid $8 for the set, so pretty much $4 a piece. This was the other piece that was in there. It's just a really sexy Victoria's Secret like lace bodysuit. Um, it is a size 36, and that was the gold label tag. So anytime you see this Victoria's Secret gold label tag, it is a vintage item. So I listed this for a buy it now of $39.99. This next item actually came from a fill -a bag rummage sale. The last fill -a bag rummage sale that I went to. It is a vintage Pittsburgh Steelers black satin um, button front jacket. This is by Chalkware. It is a size medium. So uh, Chalkware makes a lot of um, just like sports um apparel kind of thing so this is definitely older and on the back it says Pittsburgh Steelers so I listed this one for a buy it now of $49.99 so at the fill -a bag rummage sale I got this jacket this is also a size medium this is a Harley Davidson like black bomber style jacket um, on the chest it's embroidered Harley owners group 
And then on the back, it has an embroidery as well. So again, size medium, I listed this as a buy it now for $59.99. Eric won this at an auction recently. This is cast iron. It's a two-faced devil head <laughs> matchstick holder. So this would hold matchsticks. And it's got like a clawed foot. It almost looks like a chicken, chicken foot. It's really, really weird <laughs> super duper weird um we did pay a little bit for it so i had to list it on the higher side uh but we did put this up as a buy it now for a hundred and nine dollars and 99 cents of course i listed another of these little cheesers sets um i had gotten some of these uh this was a while back i've had this for a while but this is really cute a lot of them have to do with like mice it's like a mice set by Gans. Uh, this one here is a little treasure chest and when you open up the top there is a music box so it plays um, the melody somewhere in time is the name. So just looks like that. Really cute. Looks like a little like you know treasure chest and I listed that for a buy it now of $19.99. Next item I have are two Rushton dolls. I like never come across Rushton plush. Um, so these ones here are like a grandma and grandpa. They call them hobo dolls. Um, seriously, this one kind of looks like a monkey to me though. <laughs> so I'm not sure. Uh, but they do kind of like go together. I did pay up for these. I can't remember exactly what I paid for them. But it was, it was a decent amount. Um, listed these for a buy it now of $450, I believe we listed them for. Uh, so yeah, finally got some Rushtons, but it might be hanging on to them for a little bit until they sell. I recently won this at an auction for $10. This is a vintage um, turkey collar. <laughs> so you would use th something like this to um, lure in a turkey like if you're hunting kind of thing it's called the daisy turkey call so basically um you just like rub this i don't know exactly how to use it but you like rub it together and you know it's supposed to i guess draw draw turkeys out um so i listed this as a buy it now for 29 dollars and 99 cents I also recently won these at the auction. It is a brand new still sealed bag of Furby Christmas ornaments. These are from 1999. I paid $11 for this bag. Um, they're really cute. The Furbies, their eyes open and close. Kind of creepy, but I like the fact that they were still sealed and these were selling pretty well. I listed these as a buy it now for $49.99. In my last haul, you had seen that I had won a whole bunch of just like nice jewelry and purses and stuff like that. I am still listing some of that stuff. I got a Joan Rivers um, jewelry piece here. And this is absolutely gorgeous. It is a swan pin. It is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Just encrusted in um, rhinestone rhinestones. Um, I did pay $52.50 for this pin and listed it as a buy it now for $129.99. Um, it's the cheapest one on eBay because everyone else has theirs listed much higher than that. Um, so it's definitely one that is desirable. I listed this purse. I've had this purse for a little while. Um, this is a Brahmin purse. It's a very nice high-end um, designer bag. It is a crossbody black leather with this gold chain detailing. Um, you have like a little Brahmin uh, fob there. Just really, really nice, very well made. Um, so I, I debated on keeping this for the longest time and then I decided to list it. I'm pretty sure I got it at a yard sale, so I didn't pay much for it. Um, I listed this as a buy it now for $99.99. The last one sold for even a little bit higher than that and it was used. Uh, we recently won this vintage from, I think it's from 1984, Hulk Hogan wrestling figure. He still does have his belt on, which 
lends to you know him being worth more uh, we paid $27 for him and I listed him as a buy it now for $69.99 he has sold for more than that um, but it seems like ones that have like you know are missing the belt or have like a bunch of paint rubs this one does have some paint rubs on the knees but you know the worse condition they're in the less that they'll sell for kind of thing but this one's in pretty decent shape um so like i said buy it now for 69 dollars and 99 cents um recently got this as well this is a kent of london uh, they make hair brushes the this is a military what they call military brushes and there are two of them in here just incredibly nice um you know wood military brushes hair brushes eric paid four dollars for these at um an auction and i listed them as a buy it now for 99 dollars and 99 cents um these are really expensive brushes and they do sell really well this next item is an old apple computer game um it's called adventure by scott adams there are three games on the disc and this is like a really old floppy disc you guys remember floppy discs so the games are mystery fun house pyramid of doom and ghost town uh eric recently won um a crate full of vintage apple computer games um for a hundred and ten dollars he paid for the crate so I knew that there was one game in there that was worth like a lot of money, but I didn't really know what all else was in there. So when I went to list this one, I saw games by this person, Scott Adams, listed really, really high. So I went ahead and put it on auction with a starting price of $99.99. It already has a bid and I think it has like six watchers already. So I'm anxious to see um, if this goes for any more than that. But this game right here will hopefully, you know, make the money back that we spent on that crate. And I still have like a bunch of other games to list. So I'm really excited about that one and excited to see what the other games potentially sell for. All right, so a while back I had gotten a box full of old kids records and there was also some old books in there as well old children's books this was in there it's a book called god keeps his promise and it's a bible storybook for kindergarten children it has really nice um pictures in here obviously you'd have to you know read it to to the child but um it is a really nice book i did put this up as a buy it now for nine dollars and 99 cents also in that a box was this vintage Wizard of Oz book. This is a paperback. Um, these were called the Illustrated Classic Editions. So each page has a really nice picture on it. Um, what date is on this? This is from 1977. I listed this as a buy it now for $5.99. Got this clock at an auction. This is really cool. Um, it tells you the tides it's a, a tide clock so it tells you when it's high tide half tide and low tide so really interesting it's called the timal wave is what it's called so i listed this for a buy it now of 29 dollars and 99 cents i got this music box this is really pretty oh it's already going off here um it's shaped like a piano and there is a bird on the top my mom had one of these that looked exactly like this when I was growing up. Um, it is marked Japan and it plays Joy of Love when you uh, wind it up and then it has like a velvet interior. This was like an auction box lot item. Put this up as a buy it now for $15.99. I got some really random stuff guys. Uh, next I have a set of two Avon eyeliners. These are in the shade navy. So I put these up as a lot of two for a buy it now of $9.99. I also got these two bottles of Avon Nutri Boost nail polish. So this I guess is supposed to um, help protect your nails, keeps them conditioned and that kind of thing. So again, lot of two. I put these up as a buy it now for $12.99. We'll also have some other 
Avon items. I did sell some of these. These are from the Avon Nativity set. I think these were from the 90s, no, 80s. This is from 1983. So I did sell some of the Avon Nativity pieces that I have. Um, more of my expensive ones have already sold. These are more of like the, the cheaper ones. But every year, you know, when people get these things out, accidents happen, something can get broken, and someone is looking for a replacement piece. So this one is the sheep, and they're still in their original packaging. I put this up as a buy it now for $14.99. More here. So this one is the cherub, and I have this one up as a buy it now for $19.99. To this one here, and this one is the holy family. So we got Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus all in there. And this one I have up as a buy it now for $19.99 as well. So that right there is like the perfect start to the nativity set. This is a Longa Burger Halloween party bowl. It's still in its box. So I got this at a yard sale. It is ceramic. It's a really large um, Halloween bowl. And along the sides, it's got cats, pumpkins, ghosts, spiders. It says boo, spooky, eek, trick or treat. And then the inside is orange and says boo. So perfect for to use as a candy bowl if you're giving out candy to trick or treaters. I have this listed as a buy it now for $29.99. I got this Paul Sebastian gift set. This is a cologne cologne spray and aftershave brand new in the packaging got this at a um, auction and listed this as a buy it now for $23.99 this here is um military miniatures it's just a box filled with these tiny little military miniature pieces they're just like plastic um I do think these are I do think these are older though um, so I listed these as a buy it now for $14.99 and Eric did win these at an auction. This here is brand new. It's a Cars um, Chick Hicks hauler toy. So it's brand new, still in the packaging. This is from, do we have a date on here? I don't see a year, but it's definitely like, um, you know, when cars first came out and it was a Target exclusive. These were selling pretty high. Um, I listed this as a buy it now for $79.99 and it does have quite a few watchers. Recently purchased this Steel Series Stratus Duo controller at a thrift store. Um, this is like a new open packaging, I believe, um, condition-wise, he said. So we put this up as a buy it now for $39.99. was an auction winning. This is Mickey's Merry Christmas Village. It's called the Treehouse Stayover. These pieces, some of them can sell really high. Um, I think we did already sell some pieces from this Mer Mickey's Merry Christmas Village. And it's so crazy because... Let's see, this is by Department 56. It's from 2010. Uh, but look at the original price, $14.99. Had we known that these were gonna be so expensive years from now, I would have bought them all back in 2010. Anyway, this is listed as a buy it now for $84.99. Was in a random auction box lot. It is just a little hanging ceramic tile of St. Martin. Um, so you can hang it up or you could just use it as like a hot plate or something like that, like a trivet, obviously, um, in the kitchen kind of thing. Listed this for a buy it now of $12.99. This next item is a clear glass refrigerator dish. It has a really nice like, um, kind of like basket weave checked pattern, very large, um, clear clear glass refrigerator dish. I listed that as a buy it now for $29.99. This really pretty pink vase with these really nice swirls, um, nice sheen to it. This is a Telefloral Flora vase. Um, it's really nice though. Like this would be perfect to put like some Valentine's Day themed flowers in. I listed that as a buy it now for $12.99. Again, like a random auction box lot. 
these at a yard sale and I've had them for a while. They're Bath & Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar Bath Pearls. So they obviously don't make these anymore. They were never used. These are in like this huge thick glass, beautiful decanter. So like you could obviously like once these bath pearls are done, you could put like pretty colored bath salts in here to sit along the tub. I think that would look so beautiful. Um, I did list this as a buy it now for $19.99. This also came from an auction. It's a set of vintage um, wooden dollhouse furniture and it's still in, um, well it has been open, but it's still in the original box. Um, this is from 1995. I listed this for a buy it now of $25.99. Paid $5 for that at an auction. Here are a box of Kringle glass ornaments. These are by Kurt Adler. So these are just like small glass ornaments. Really pretty like pastel type of colors to them. And there's like um, a tree topper in there as well for like a miniature tree. And these are listed as a buy it now for $24.99. They are older. This mug random box lot winning. This is um a Freemason mug. Couldn't think of the name. I wanted to say Illuminati. <laughs> Not exactly. Uh, but yeah, really nice mug there. Um, paid four $4 for this. So whatever box lot this came in, I paid four bucks for it. And I put that up as a buy it now for $19.99. I got two of these Yankee Candle Simply Home white linen and lace candles. These are brand new. Like I said, I have two of them, but I just have the one right here in front of me. Smell really nice. Um, we all know about like Yankee black band candles selling really well. Well, even some other Yankee candles can sell well as well, um, just depending on the fragrance that, you know, is no longer made and they don't, I think, make this one anymore. Anyway, I was seeing it sell pretty high. So I paid $10 for the candle. So pretty much $5 a piece. And I listed them as a buy it now for $35.99. Another random box lot winning. Um, in my next video, I actually have a random box lot that we're going to go through on camera. Because I'm always saying about how this came from a random box lot at the auction. Well, I have a box lot that I haven't even like gone through yet. I took the one thing out of it that I knew I wanted to list and was the reason why I purchased it. And the rest we're going to go through on camera. I thought that would be fun to do. Uh, but this is a just like blue seashell, like conch shell uh, dish. No markings or anything like that. I thought this would be really cute in like either a beach themed bathroom to sit for decoration. Put like cotton balls or something inside of it or just a beach house in general. Um, I listed this as a buy it now for $19.99. I got five of these old um, bird clip on ornaments. I do think these are plastic. I don't think they're glass and they have the little, um, pretty little sparkler things on the back, um, their tails basically. So there's five of them there. And I have those listed as a buy it now for $39.99. Boxes of vintage Crabtree and Evelyn soap. These are from 1997. They are all the same and they are heart soap. Number nine heart soap is what they're called. Super pretty, perfect for Valentine's Day. They are like large heart shaped bars of soap. They smell really nice. Um, won these at an auction, three of them. I put these up as a buy it now. I lotted them all together as a buy it now for $89.99. This is a fragrance that you can't find anymore. Um, so we'll see. I might have to come down on the price of those, but I thought that was a fun find. I have already sold a bunch of these next items. Eric had won um, a bunch of these vintage petite princess dollhouse furnitures. Um, who were they made by? I don't even know. Ideal. They were made by Ideal. From, they're from 1964. So I already sold a bunch of them. I only have three pieces left. So this first one is a little table set and it comes with all of those little tiny miniatures with it. These are so cute and super fun. 
I just sold one um, that was like a coffee table set I feel like it was kind of similar to this but there was a little tiny ashtray a little tiny cigarette and a little tiny lighter that went with it it was so funny and cute though because it was all miniature so this one I have listed as a buy it now for $19.99 I also have the telephone. This is like a princess telephone. This one's listed as a buy it now for $19.99. And my last one that I have available is the planter. And that's also listed for a buy it now of $19.99. All right, guys. So I think that concludes the haul of items that I had um, listed recently. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I will be doing probably my next haul back upstairs just to kind of like, you know, switch it up a little bit. I I'm pretty sure it'll be upstairs. It might be down here depending because like I said, I wanted to go through that um, random box lot and I feel like I'll have more room to go through it down here. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. You'll have to let me know what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time.